I'm really curious uh, how this Ukraine-Russia situation will be going if Trump was president. I've got an idea how the Trump, uh, the Ukraine situation would be going. There wouldn't be one, John. <laughs> if Trump was in office, there would not be one. Because Trump has one, well, two things that Biden doesn't have. Brains and balls. Yeah, and a backbone. And a backbone. Hey, the three Bs. Brains, balls, and backbone. Thank <laughs> you, you know, Brooks. Yeah. <laughs> Stephen King just said the complete opposite of that on Twitter yesterday. Uh, you know the horror writer? Yeah. But he's getting, like, completely bashed for what he said. <laughs> what was his line exactly? Like, Oh, I can look it up, like, while you guys I think he comments. said something like this wouldn't be – oh, oh, I can't remember how it's worded exactly, but it was like if Trump was in office – uh, well, this wouldn't be happening with Biden hey, in office. So. Gas would be a dollar and eighty cents a gallon. So <laughs> Putin would be coming over to play golf <laughs> at Bar Logo. But there's none of this would be going on. All right. So yeah, I looked on the free speech forum and I found the uh, I found the the post that said <laughs> it's pretty funny how I said it. <laughs> Mr. Putin has made a serious miscalculation. He forgot he's no longer dealing with Trump. <laughs> <laughs> I think you commented that. Uh, oh, I'm going to pretend he's being sarcastic Oh, there. man, like, way to go, Stephen <laughs> Good King. One. Like, <clears throat> Good one. Well, what? So we got some, some video of Trump yeah. talking or some audio? Yeah, we got some video here of Trump and his opinions on Putin and a discussion that he had with him uh, in years past talking about Ukraine. It's always funny to hear the name yeah. Putin. Putin. Well, even Sleepy Eyes Chuck Todd said this weekend during his show, I was watching it for a change, he said, how come there has been no you know, invasion during the period of time that the Trump administration was there, but they did invade, very severely invade with Obama, and then they waited, and then they invaded. This would never have happened if we were there, but he did. Chuck he makes a good point there, though, right? I mean, we had four years. They took Crimea when uh, Obama was in office, did nothing with Trump, and now all of a sudden they're, they're, com back. they're coming for Ukraine, we're, surrounding Ukraine. Back. And they act like, oh, we're just coming to the border, just building up troops. These are, these are just exercises. What? And then last night they're, you know, sending people across, and now they've uh, – I think Biden said that what gave it away is they're moving blood to the border and hospitals. Oh, wow. I hadn't that, seen that. You know. Yeah. Those were, they were the two things. When Putin said he's going to recognize the two separatist groups that split away those territories, I said, uh-oh, that's giving him a strong reason. They're saying, come on in, you're our savior. And then I read about the blood, and I said, whoa. Whoa, I, I need to dig that, into that, that. That's a huge operation, man, to draw get blood in and uh, that – yeah. So if he's not going to attack, he's making it look. He's playing one hell of a uh, shell game. He's already taken uh, the eastern parts, rebellious areas that claim that uh, are Russia-backed people. So, yeah, I mean, he's already made a move. But yeah. uh, there's rumors that I was reading right before we came on talking about at 4 a.m. tonight or in the morning that he's going to make the attack. So we'll see what comes of it. 4 a.m. Russian, Russian time? Or? I'm we'll not sure. We'll figure it out. Yeah, I'm sure. God, ask that form. question. How come there was none of this was happening during the Trump administration? I knew Putin very well. I got along with him great. He liked me. I liked him. I mean, you know, he's a tough cookie. He's got a lot of uh, great charm <laughs> and cookie. a lot of pride. That's but tough. the way he and he loves his country, you know, he loves his country. He's acting a little differently, I think, now. I think he sees this opportunity. I knew that he always wanted Ukraine. I used to talk to him about it. I said, you can't do it. You're not going to do it. But I could see I mean, that he wanted it. Only Trump. I, I, used to I appreciate ask him. honesty. We used to talk about it at length. It's interesting that they even had those conversations. Yeah. About, like, yeah. He, he wants Ukraine that bad. So, have you heard about Ukraine, though? It's kind of like the Florida of Russia in that area. <laughs> like, it's the only warm port. Oh, okay. I and, thought you were talking about And it's the about warmest like... part uh, of the country. So, yeah. Like, uh, People want that area because that's where yeah. all the Ukrainians vacation and Russia people voc vacation in this area as well. I thought you were talking about the Florida of Russia for different reasons, like yeah, a yeah. bunch of Florida mans. You know, <laughs> well, you something could, you could uh, go anywhere with that comment. Yeah. Let me let me say this: I, I've always respected Putin. He's he's a tough leader, but he's got Russia working better than it ever really has. They produced more what. At what ten to fifteen now billionaires that Russia's got something's working over there, but one thing that's interesting, think about it this way: 
this this prop this property this country has was a part of Russia's motherland. Now imagine what would happen if we came out and said, well, you know, Mexico really belongs to us because we beat them in the War of eighteen twelve. We're just going to get the rest of it. Now what would we do if Russia started pumping military and bringing it in? To the countries, Guatemala, Puerto Rico, we would not stand for it one minute. Just, right. So, you know, it's like, eh, I don't know what to think about yeah. this sometimes. It's really, it's a gnarly one for me. Yeah. And I mean, like, I've read somewhere before that, that Ukraine provided a good neutral buffer between Russia and the West, you know, and Europe. I mean, it's true, you know. Well, they'll be across it, that thing with a blitzkrieg and... One and, day, but up to this point, yeah, and and but then all of a sudden NATO's trying to go after their buffer state, which I don't know why NATO would even do that. Because, yeah, you know it's like threatening. Yeah, it, NATO, it's the same way. And you, you can't. Know, NATO's trying to take uh, take Mexico for themselves. You know. Yeah, yeah. And, and you know the other bottom line is really ridiculous. The Democrats are blaming guess who, Trump. Trump, who's been gone out of office two years almost. So. Yeah, isn't that ridiculous? That just grinds my gears. Yeah, they got to have somebody to blame. They I'll, do. I always try and provide an opposite perspective, but you know, there was military violence and wars was was basically non-existent when Trump was in office. Hell, Trump stepped in North Korea. <laughs> like he actually stepped in North Korea, mm-hmm. and yeah. now here we are back like, and negotiated with him. Is that you want a piece of me? <laughs> While B- Biden touts that he's the king of, uh, you know foreign affairs so while well, he's anything but that but hmm. well so uh all we're gonna I can watch s- anymore is that i miss him it? i miss him that's all i can say yeah bring back trump our country misses him because oh every gosh. move that biden's made has been wrong bring, bring him back to this or either desantis gets in and trump is his joint chief of staff group you know <laughs> we'll I see like what comes of it i like desantis hey well definitely uh, like and subscribe hit that bell so you don't, don't miss any future podcasts and come see us on the freespeechforum.com. We all have accounts. Find there. the we truth all, here, folks. Yeah, we all talk a lot of shit on there. And yep. Amen. Uh, find, find our social truth. media. We're on Instagram, Twitter, and our podcast is available everywhere. So Take care, everybody. See you soon.